at Chelsea handler since Trump the bill for her birth control, gets back nasty reply. Chelsea Handler is one of the most obnoxious celebrities obsessed with hating President Donald Trump. Handler loves to post what she calls her resistance to Trump's agenda on social media, and she recently decided she had a clever idea. Making her own invoice, she billed the president $1.4 billion for birth control, saying it's her right and the government should pay for it. Now, she is completely livid as she got back a nasty reply. You're going to love this. What is it about the leftist nut jobs and birth control? Birth control is no one's right, and most honest, hard-working people are not obsessing about it at all. However, the feminists are focusing on it since President Trump stopped Barack Obama's crazy mandate that all employers must cover it. What is it about the leftist nut jobs and birth control? Birth control is no one's right, and most honest, hard-working people are not obsessing about it at all. However, the feminists are focusing on it since President Trump stopped Barack Obama's crazy mandate that all employers must cover it. The Trump administration announced that it will provide an exemption for employers with religious or moral objections, reports the Daily Caller. This sparked Chelsea Handler to create her own invoice, billing Trump for $1.4 billion worth of birth control. Wow, according to Health.com. Birth control runs between $20 $50 a month, so maybe those women in need can go without their Starbucks for a few days. Or, even crazier, maybe they should abstain from sex if the 20 bucks a month will break their budget. It's safe to say, the celeb didn't get the response she was hoping for. Idiot Chelsea Handler did not like that people saw her hash hands off MEBC, hands off my birth control, hashtag as a joke. Nobody is asking to touch Handler or her birth control. She's free to stock up with as much birth control as she wants, and no one is going to stop her. We just aren't going to pay for it. Birth control is not a right, and anyone who thinks it is should take a basic, fifth grade level class on American history and government. According to the Daily Caller, Cardinal Daniel DiNardo said, a government mandate that coerces people to make an impossible choice between obeying their consciences and obeying the call to serve the poor is harmful not only to Catholics but to the common good. Speaking on Trump's decision to do away with Obama's mandate, the cardinal went on, such an exemption is no innovation, but instead a return to common sense, long-standing federal practice, and peaceful coexistence between church and state. It corrects an anomalous failure by federal regulators that should never have occurred and should never be repeated. One huge problem with those like Chelsea Handler is that they are getting false information. The Huffington Post said, the birth control mandate compelled for profit employers to cover the full range of contraceptives, including the pill, the intrauterine device, and the Plan B morning after pill, at no out-of-pocket cost to women while carving out exemptions for churches and non-profit religious organizations. Uh, no. Obama threatened the Catholic Church, which employs hundreds of thousands of lay people, non-religious, with the mandate, that is why the Little Sisters of the Poor took their case to the Supreme Court where they won. The article goes on to say, the Trump administration, which is stacked with officials who oppose contraception, with a link to a New York Times article that is about those in Trump's administration who are against abortion, not contraception. See how misleading they are? Catholics consider contraception a sin, but they do not inflict their personal beliefs on anyone. All Christians should be against abortion, so the Huffington Post is lying by making these leftist nut jobs think all Christians want to take away their contraception, like at it, and that's just totally crazy. So, there is the problem. Chelsea Handler and her cohorts spread lies about birth control. All conservative Americans want is not to pay for it. It is their right to buy as much birth control as they want, no one is stopping them now or ever. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Matt World News. World News.